Welcome to Advan Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service technician for Advan Black, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install your brand new four and a half inch stretch bags from Advan Black. Now, once you get your stretch saddle bags from Advan Black, go ahead and get them unpacked, inspect them, and then we'll move on to transferring everything over from our stock bags over to the new bags and get them put on the bike. Inside one of your saddle bags, you're gonna have a white hardware bag like this. In that hardware package, you'll have your four washers for your bagger knobs, a brand new set of four bagger knobs, two for each side, four of the clips that go in. We're gonna show you how to replace those here in a minute, and that's gonna replace the actual push pin stuff that you have now and uh, replace it with these anti-theft bagger knobs. And also you'll have two cut rubber shims like this. They're pretty thick on one side and thin on the other. These are placed on the bag rail in case you guys have the four and a half inch exhaust and you can't quite get them centered up. Uh, we use these for that and I'll show you how to do that. Now you're going to also have these four metal plates. You'll see two match and two match. One's for the front and one's for the back. These go on the outside of the bag where your hooks go, where your lid closes, and we'll show you how to apply those too. But make sure that you have all of this stuff and then we can get started transferring everything over. So the first thing you wanna do is remove your saddle bag and get it onto the table. We're gonna start by removing the hardware from the stock bag and moving it over to the new extended bag. So the very first thing we wanna do is remove these eight screws right here that hold on the latches to the inside of the bag. You're gonna use a T20 Torx head bit and you're going ahead and remove these screws. Now on the inside of the saddlebag lid, all we have to do is release the entire one-touch mechanism lid and everything away from the bag. There's no need to take the one-touch mechanism out of the lid. We just need to disconnect it from the hinge area. So you can take this part up here, leave all of this alone and just work on the hinge. You're gonna use a 15 Torx head and remove the outer screws that go through this tether. There's four screws that go through this hinge. Two only go through the tether. You can remove these two, move the tether back and then remove the inner two and your lid will be away from your bag. Now all we have left are the two bolts in the middle. Now once we remove these two screws, the lid will be removed from the bag. So make sure that you hold the bag up because it's sitting at an angle and when you release that screw, a lot of time the bag can slip and scratch your bag. So make sure that when you remove the last one that you're hanging onto the bag. Just simply remove the bag from the lid. So go ahead and remove your stock bag, bring your four and a half inch stretch bag up onto the table. We're basically gonna reverse the process by putting the lid back on the bag and then we'll finish up with the hooks on the outside. Now before we put this lid back on the saddlebag guys, if you've purchased the black hardware from Advan Black that goes on the outside here, this is the time that you need to swap this stuff out. If you notice on the inside of the hinge right here, we have three screws. You would just simply remove those, take this outer piece off, add your new piece, you can see where the three screw holes are here, and go ahead and blue Loctite those as well and put them back on, and then you have replaced your outer hinge hardware. From here, I like to use a little bit of blue Loctite. You can see when you pull these screws out, Harley-Davidson has actually applied a little bit of red Loctite on there. Red's really not necessary for this, guys, but I do recommend that you get some, some uh, blue Permatex or whatever kind of brand you use. We use the blue Permatex and add a dab on each screw before you put it back in. Now, I do want to make a note real quick, guys, that you can do this on the bike. It's sometimes it's easier for you guys to put the saddlebag on the bike, mount it, and then get your lid on. Whatever's easiest for you guys. I do them right here on the table. The first one is a little bit tricky, but you want to flip this hinge out. It's basically just holding it in place until you get that first screw in so you make sure that you don't scratch anything. Now I'll go ahead and get these almost snug, but leave it where the lid can move just a little bit. The reason why I do that is I like to close the lid and make sure everything's lined up, everything looks good. We haven't twisted the lid in any way in that hinge. Once I make sure everything's lined up good, I'll go ahead and snug those down. You've got that blue Loctite on there, guys. You don't have to put a lot of torque on these. With the remaining two bolts, go ahead and put it through the tether, through your hole into your hinge plate. So now that we have that in place, we can go ahead and put our hooks back on and inside of our hardware bag, remember the two metal plates that we had. We've got one that's kind of curved at the top and one that's flat. And as you notice, the flat will match the back and the curved will match the front, just like that. So this is a backing plate or a reinforcement plate for your bolt holes. Place the hook on the inside, put your plate on, and then run your screw through. 
Once again, a little blue Loctite on each of these bolts and do not tighten the first one down. Just go ahead and get it started. Get all four of them started. Once you get them all in, you can go ahead and do a crisscross pattern and snug them down. Once you have everything mounted, you can go ahead and close it. Make sure everything's going to shut nicely. We're good there. Everything's got a little blue Loctite on it and snugged up. So the only thing left we have to do is put these rubber grommets in here and that is for our bagger bolt. What I like to use is a little flathead screwdriver, guys. Just go ahead and get the bottom started. Once again, take your time on this. You can do it from the inside in case your screwdriver slips. I find it easier to do it from the outside but just simply work it around until you get the bottom part through the hole. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Once again, take your time so your screwdriver doesn't slip and you end up scratching your paint. Once you get it most of the way through, usually you can stand it up and pull the remaining rubber through with your fingers. Now that we have our two rubber grommets in, the only thing we have left to do is put our two rubber cushions in the bottom of the bag. These rubber cushions will look like this. They'll be in the bag, have a couple of nipples on them. If you have trouble pulling these through, you can put a little soap water or something on there that's gonna dry later to help you slip it through. Push it in from the bottom and then you reach in from the inside and these nipples will be poking through the bottom of the bag. There's two holes down there. I have kind of big hands, so I like to just use a small pair of channel locks and I'll put a little soap water on there and grab it and pull it through. Pull both nipples through until it's locked and secured in place. Once you have that done, you'll have this here and the bag will be ready to put on the bike. So from here, we're gonna move the camera over to the bike and I'll show you how to install the new bagger knob system. So these two clips right here are where your current Harley-Davidson pins push in through the bag and clip in. We're gonna remove these two clips with a flat head screwdriver. Take your flat head screwdriver and you push straight in on that clip on the inside and then arch it up and push down. So once again, not holding my screwdriver like this, I wanna hold it like this so I can push in and then arch up and push down. In, arch up, and push down. And these come right out. You're gonna use the black threaded clip that we give you now. The threads go on the inside of the bike. So you've got the open hole here, and then the threads on the back. You go in from the bottom, work it up, and push it on. So all we have left to do now is just go ahead and get the bag installed, run our bolts in, and this side's done. We repeat the process on the other side, and then we'll show you the outcome. Now this bike already has a fender extension installed, guys, and you can watch the video on that. Check that out on the Adban Black YouTube channel. It is the Charco Pearl Fender Extension, and uh, that is a complete walkthrough on the installation of that. But now that we have our bags on, and I've moved the camera to the back, you can clearly see what issues we're running into now. This is a very common issue. I get this phone call about 15 times a week. Hey man, I got my fender extension on, got my bags on, my pipes are touching my bags or my pipes are touching the fender extension. These slip-ons were installed by a Harley-Davidson dealership. You can clearly see how far these pipes are out. This one over here is really bad. That one over there is still touching the bag. Never under any circumstances do you ride your motorcycle just like this. You don't want your pipe touching your bag. You've got plenty of room in here on this side, so basically what we need to do is adjust the slip-on. Right up in there is your rear hanging bracket for your slip-on. We're going to leave that alone. We're not going to touch that right now. We're going to loosen the bolt up front where the slip-on goes into the header, and that way we can twist this pipe and use that rear hanger as kind of like a pivot point. When I turn this pipe down, we're not turning the pipe. We're just pushing it down. So when I put a strap rinse on this, if I pull up on it, it's gonna to come towards the bag. If I push down on it, it's gonna to go towards the fender extension. It's very, very important that you have the slip-on broke free from the header. If it's not broke free up there, then you're gonna be twisting the header pipe too. You don't want that. You want it to twist inside the header and you want to use this rear hanging bracket as a pivot point. Now, in order to adjust this pipe, you want to loosen this exhaust bracket right in here where the slip-on goes onto the header right back here in the back. You'll see a big exhaust bracket. Loosen that. You want to take that pressure that's holding those two pieces together. You just want to take it off. Sometimes if they're seized up, you may have to get a hammer. You may have to whack it a couple of times. You may have to spray some PB in there. 
This blaster stuff works awesome. Spray it in there, let it set for 20 minutes or so, come back and then you'll be able to move the exhaust. This one is pretty loose, so I don't need the strap, but you can pick up one of these rubber straps at any, just about any hardware store, and you can throw that around there and twist it with that, but these are pretty well loose. The top bracket back here, do not loosen that. This is a metal plate that runs through a rubber piece and you're gonna use that as a pivot point. These can obviously be turned because you guys saw how crooked they were to begin with. So if I grab this exhaust and I twist it towards the bike, I just moved it in. Once again, twisting the pipe towards the bike. Watch how much the pipe moves. Now, we've got our bag out here. This was way out here. We've got our bag out here touching it. We just pushed it in to get it away from the bag. If it's so, if it's so tight that you need to use a strap wrench, that's fine. Go ahead and put it on there, pull it tight, and turn the pipe. You can see how much this pipe moves. I just moved it probably half inch to three quarters of an inch. So if we set our bag back on there, you can clearly see the exhaust is not touching the bag anymore. If you need to go a little bit further, I can show you how to do that too. Now we are going to talk about the bracket on the top that we used as a pivot point. You can take this bolt and nut out, this bolt and nut out, and this bracket will slide right out of this piece of rubber. You can take a Dremel tool or whatever you have to kind of notch that hole over and make it oblong. Once you make that bracket oblong, then you can really push the pipe over towards the bike. Once you get it pushed over, tighten these back down. Then you should have all the clearance that you're gonna need. Now, if you don't wanna mess with that bracket, that's why we include the rubber shims. You get these rubber shims in your hardware pack. It's twice as thick on this edge right here than it is this edge, and it's twice as thick as the standard grommet that goes in the bottom of your bag. Take the rubber grommet out of the back of your bag. You cannot run the shim and the rear rubber grommet at the same time. So once you take the rubber grommet, once you take the rubber cushion out of the back of the bag, you'll have this stuck to the side of the bag. You can put this on here. I've seen guys do it a hundred different ways. You can use zip ties. You can tape it on there. By all means, do not use electric tape. You want to use a threaded tape and not like electric tape that can heat up even just from the sun and uh, start to sag and pull down. Now you're pulling your bag back in towards your pipe. But you can attach that just like that on the side of the rail on both sides with the thick end up. So when you set your bag on there, it's going to slightly push your bag out. Using the techniques that I just showed you, I got the exhaust now lined up, centered. I got a nice even gap all the way around on both sides. This part matters absolutely the most when you're installing your bag. So take your time on this. Don't rush this. Make sure you've got a nice gap all the way around. Get everything tightened back down to spec and you're gonna be good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. Not a whole lot to it. Probably take you about two hours if you've never done one before. Pretty easy to do. This is not something you need to pay somebody to do. Take your stock bags off, swap your hardware over, adjust your exhaust, stick them on the bike. That's pretty much it. To get your hands on a set of these, check the description down below. You may have to click on the little arrow if you're on your phone. It's a little bit different on a computer, but you want to open up the description. It'll give you a link directly over to this setup. To get your hands on a set of these guys, check out the link down in the description. We have a ton of colors to choose from, all Harley Davidson factory colors. Pick out the part you want, choose the color you want, add it to your cart. It's really that easy. But like I said, if you got any questions on this install, let me know down below. I'm going to get out of here and get back to work. Until the next video, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze.